We have a really cool question that we may talk about for, uh, for you know, that may take pique our interest for we why right here. And these questions come from Chandler Sharp and says, hello, what scuba or snorkeling spots do you recommend in New Zealand? So there is a lot of places to scuba and snorkel in New Zealand and we actually have visited quite a fair amount of them. So um, yeah, let's uh, let's combine them a little bit together and, and talk about different spots that we like. And uh, shall you get started? What about you do? I would like to get yeah, started. Yes, you get started. Yeah. So um, one of the top spots for scuba diving in New Zealand has to be Poor Knights Islands. So this is just off the coast of Tutukaka from the North Island. The biggest city closest to there would be Whangarei. And yeah, so there's dive shops in Tutukaka which can take you by boat to the Poor Knights Islands, which is a marine reserve. The islands themselves are protected. So the whole area around there is, is really thriving with lots of wildlife and lots of fish. So scuba diving over there, you can go there as a beginner. We have a video on NZ, well, on our website, no, on our YouTube, YouTube channel. channel. This is the thing right here. Yeah, so we do have a video on our YouTube channel of us experiencing this for ourselves. So if you want to check it out and see what that's like to do a beginner's dive there. But of course, if you are certified, you can get a lot more out of the experience. There's lots of volcanic formed archways and caves to explore. So that's really exciting. There's a lot of wildlife around there. So totally recommend Poor Knights Islands. Okay, um, I'm not going to go too far from Poor Knight Island. It's uh, it's still around around the northern part of the northern end. And I'm going to talk about Goat Island Marine Reserve. It's a fantastic place to go do, uh, not scuba diving. Oh, you can do scuba over there, but I mean, you're better off just doing snorkeling because it's quite shallow. Yeah. Um, it is a marine reserve. There is a lot of snappers to look at. There's a lot of fish. It's phenomenal. And another great thing you can do there if you don't feel like jumping in the water, which why wouldn't you since you asked that question, Chandler? But you can do clear kayaking. So it's kind of like kayaks which are, you know, clear, they clear bottoms basically, and you can see through them. And yeah, it's a fantastic place to snorkel at. Next place, Laura. Um, I would go to the Bay of Islands. Again, this is on the north, north island of New Zealand. Uh, the nearest town is Paihia, and there's a few dive shops in that area. Paihia Dive is a good is a good company to go with. And they can take you, for instance, if you're a certified diver, there's the Canterbury Wreck Dive, which is really awesome, really exciting. Um, we've seen some really cool pictures coming from that. So that's really good. But if you're a beginner diver, there's also some really amazing kelp forests to explore in New Zealand. And that's kind of what the scuba diving mainly is in New Zealand, is going through kelp forests, which at first doesn't sound as exciting as, for instance, coral. Obviously, coral get, you know, it has like a big sort of reputation, amazing scuba diving in coral, but kelp forests do have a lot of different fish species and a lot of things to see. So again, we do have a video on this channel of us scuba diving in the Bay of Islands, or at least I was scuba diving in the Bay of Islands because Robin had a broken arm, so he couldn't join. Yeah, I had to break it, it was mandatory. Yes, so yeah, he, he did what he could to not go on that uh, No, I love scuba diving. Okay, next up. Yeah is a scuba dive that uh, we haven't had a chance to do because it's so weather dependent, especially if you are not certified. And it's in Milford Sound. In Milford Sound, you actually can scuba dive over there and you are able to witness black coral, which is quite amazing. Next up for you, Laura. I haven't got a next one No, you yet. don't want to take us to Mercury Island. Mercury Island's in the Coromandel, yes. So we, it's another place. <laughs> I was just like trying to remind myself what yep. the other places were. So. Uh, in the Coromandel, where it's famous for places like Hot Water Beach and Cathedral Cove, you can also go scuba diving there. So particularly from Fitianga, there is a dive shop there where you can go out to the Mercury Islands just off the shores of the Coromandel. And again, it's an amazing place to do scuba diving around kelp forests, check out some octopus, check out whatever crazy fish species you can yeah. find. Yeah, and uh, we'll wrap it up with uh, quite an epic dive that you can be doing uh, in New Zealand. And it's a, it's, you know, it's not really controversial, but it's a, it's a different type of dive, uh, dive and it's, uh, it's in a cage and you can see some amazing sharks. 
and that is off the shore of Stewart Island. So it's between the South Island and uh, all the way at the bottom of the South Island. And you can see beautiful sharks there. There are some great white sharks. Obviously, the viewings are, you know, it's it's wildlife. So you never know if you're going to be able to see them. But that's quite fantastic to be able to do that as well. Other um, scuba or snorkeling kind of spots to worth mentioning is around Kaikoura. Obviously, you can uh, you can do scuba uh, with uh, seals. There is Seal Swim Kaikoura, which is one of my favorite activity to do in New Zealand. And you can also uh, do snorkeling with uh, dolphins. And there is plenty of options uh, around New Zealand. So Laura, do you want to give us some options of snorkeling with dolphins in New Zealand? Yeah, so Toranga, which is in the North Island, has yep. a really good really good dolphin swimming. There's also in Akaroa in the South Island, they do dolphin swimming with the smallest smallest species of dolphins in the world called Hectors dolphins. And where else can you do dolphin swimming? You can- Kaikoura? Ka uh, Kaikoura, we yeah. already mentioned. Oh, I talk about the seals, but you can do oh, yeah. dolphins so as well. Kaikoura yeah. as well, where you can see dusky dolphins, very playful, acrobatic, dolphin species there you and go. Well, that's, that's pretty good that's, that's pretty yeah. good there there is there are some obscure others but uh yeah that is uh some amazing places to swim with dolphins all right guys so if you did find this video useful make sure to hit like make sure to subscribe to our channel we do a lot of videos like this where we help you plan your trip to new zealand and check out nzpocketguide.com for thousands of tips hidden gems and much more bye bye